Fellas, how we doing? It's your boy Arrow. Welcome to Saurian. Um, tonight we're going to be seeing if we can make it to adult Triceratops on the hardest difficulty in the game. This is actually a video I've been wanting to do for a while, and I actually started last week, but the devs decided they were going to update the game, and my save file was now incompatible with my current game. So we are remaking this video. But uh, before we get into that, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm trying to get more comfortable on the mic. Obviously, you don't hear me on the mic very often. But uh, if you do like this video, make sure to drop a like on the video. Um, if you have a comment on what you want to see, if you like this video, if you dislike this video, let me know why in the comments. And if you're new here, um, appreciate it if you'd subscribe, hit that notification bell so you might get notified in the event that I do upload again. But uh, without further ado, let's get right into this game. So, I actually have been playing as of late, or not as of late, but I played one game just to see what this new update's about. I played as a uh, little casual, but that's not what we're, we're going to be doing tonight. We are going to be playing. That's very loud. Triceratops. We're going to go male, and we're going to go realistic, where you can only save when you exit the game and when you sleep. So, main difference with that versus casual, you can save all the time. Um, you don't die as much, even though you die a ton in this game anyway, but in realistic, it's going to be I'm trying to make it to adult without dying, and you do get stepped on a lot, and you get bit a lot by a whole bunch of things, so that this is going to be a hard video, it's going to be a fun video, because that's obviously why I wanted to make it. I like to make these kind of short, because I like to see it short, short days, and let's get into it. And we will overwrite my casual game. But uh, yeah, I've been wanting to make this video for quite a while. And as I said in the intro, I made... I actually started this video, yeah, last week. Something like that. And I had all the way up until just shy of sub-adult, I think. But the next day I looked at the... Sorry, in devlog and they decided they were going to drop an update and that made this game completely or that save file completely incompatible because they implemented some new things so here we are it does look a little better the shadows don't glitch out as much which is kind of nice um i don't think i've ever spawned here before but for anybody new to saurian i'm gonna give you a little intro. On the bottom right you have all the basic stats, kind of like the Isle or Beast of Bermuda, any other dinosaur game. Um, the white circle in the middle, that's your stamina bar. So uh, as you can see, we're running around and it goes down. And it doesn't regen while you're trotting, but while you're walking it regens. And obviously if you sit down, kind of cute little animation. When you sit down, you regen stamina. Uh, the red bar is your health. Obviously it's limited. Um, blue bar is water, which obvious, also obvious. And then green is your hunger. So in this game, it's not you don't press E or anything. And this is Q. It's to sniff, and you can see all the food. But in this game, you use your mouse buttons to eat and drink to interact with stuff, which takes some getting used to, especially when the click spots are kind of wonky. But kind of, kind of like it. Um, something I noticed about this update from the last update, I might throw in a clip from the last update, but the animations of the adults, they seem to vibrate when they walk now, and you can, I don't know if you can see this, but you can see their feet, they're gonna, they're three calling each other, you can see their feet through the, like, the plants right there, it's kind of wonky, this is something I noticed in the this new update is not something I saw in the prior version of the game. They were not vibrating like that. But, yeah. Um, so basically, this game is the Isle. But, I mean, every dinosaur game is compared to the Isle these days. But, um, you start out as a little little baby. Juvenile. Well, um, up here in the upper right hand corner, you have your age and your status. I guess you're a hatchling at this point. And then, obviously, you can save when you quit the game and when you sleep, but none other, no other times than that. Um, in casual, you have a place where it says save right here. 
so just have to make sure you don't die. In this game, you do die a lot. Um, in my casual game, I'm probably gonna throw some footage. I don't know. I have a whole bunch of footage from that because I was having some fun in that casual gameplay. But you get killed a ton. You get stomped on by your parents. You get pulled up on by Dakota Raptors. Um, you get walked on by Anatosaurus, and obviously Rexes exist in Hell Creek, so they do pull up quite often, which is not fun. Um, I've never had this spawn before, as I said, and I'm not too sure where the water is, but I'm going to follow the adult male, probably our dad, see if he's leading us to water. Yep, there's water. What is that noise? Um, so, for anyone who hasn't played Saurian, it is just, it is located in Hell Creek. Um, so every dinosaur, everything is hyper-realistic to Hell Creek. Um, obviously Triceratops. This is species Prorsis. Not my preferred species. That dude just sat down while he was running. Um, so everything is supposed to be... Like as it is, as it was in Hell Creek, these kind of it's kind of water. Is that my guy making weird noises? Um, so yeah, so everything's supposed to be as is, which I like that a lot, uh, especially for the realism aspect. Um, usually when you're spawned in, you spawn in with a few little, you get some siblings. Looks like they're following parents around. He's threatening the children, which is great. Hopefully, there won't be too much action when we're young. But, in time, there will definitely be various predators that show up. Oh, that's kind of glitchy. But, there. You see, it's like the old aisle animations where it's just a one thing, it's not continuous. One animation. Um, something neat about this game is you are constantly growing, so you're going to notice over the course of however long I play this for tonight, you're going to see this model change. We're going to keep growing. I think we're already bigger. Then, oh my god. Something different about this, you don't use your, like, uh, in other games you use the 1, 2, 3 buttons. In this game you press, I have it bound to F, so you have a voice wheel. And you have different, I guess, calls that you choose, and you kind of direct them at stuff. So you go like that. You're friends with those guys, and then you go into here, and it shows you all the people and your, all the guys in your herd. They're the adults, the adults, super adult. Oof. Not sure what that means. Super adult. So there's two adults, which I saw three. So there's. And then, obviously, you can tell which one's a female. There's super adult female. Could be that one. That Chiron could be... Is this man. That man right there. So, yeah. Basically, this game is you walk around, you eat, and try not to die. Obviously. Which I'm hoping isn't too hard. And realistic. As I said earlier, I did play a little bit, um, I tried to make this video before, and then obviously the devs updated it, but I did make it pretty far, spent about an hour, got all the way to, I guess it's, what are we hatchling right now? The older stages of juvenile, so, oh, tree. I think we'll make it to that point, easily, as long as these guys stick around. Um, they provide a very good very good defense when it, predators decide to show up. But these are some some high this is some high some high ferns and does not make it easy to spot predators. I don't know if you saw earlier over there, but there was a herd of the ornithomimids. We're not sure what species that is, but the game listed as Hell Creek Ornithomimid. They are stupid fast and really tall, really big. So, 
the lighting in this game is really good. Uh, the graphics, excellent. Um, I can show mine. I think probably show mine. That's audio. It's not right. No, not in here. But yeah, I have my graphics set to ultra something. I don't think it's the highest, but it's pretty high. So the lighting's really good. Oh yeah, I have short days on, so this will be, these days will be going quick. Yeah. So anyway, that is what Saurian is. Hoping to get some action eventually. It does get kind of slow, especially when you're kind of just sitting around and literally just eating. But I guess that's the herbivore life. <coughs> Ugh. <laughs> these are our siblings. And these are the giant. Oh my god, he's walking right through. He's sitting. Okay. Well, it's always good. Sitting inside your parents. Also, these models are gorgeous. As much as I hate how Triceratops Forces looks, they did an exquisite job with the modeling. Um, I guess Triceratops Forces is the most. is the younger species of Triceratops. It was found more towards the end of the Cretaceous, past Triceratops Hortus. So, this is what lived with the king, Mr. Rex. So, also, it's nighttime, so if we hold, I rebound my control. So if we hold H, we go to sleep, and then we should wake up in the morning. And thankfully, these guys are still here. So sometimes when you go to sleep, or especially when you uh, like update, upgrade your stage, progress, um, your family leaves you. It's really annoying. Especially when you spawn right next to a T-Rex or something. So that can get a little tedious. It's probably going to happen in this video at least once. But it did save. It does save when you sleep there. So I do have some progress saved. Uh. Why is it not here? Oh jeez. Yeah. I'm trying to eat. There we go. So I think when you get that little yellow part in your hunger. Oh, there's the. Okay. So here's a pretty good look at some of the ornithomimids. They are crossing right in front of us. Um, AI in this game, still kind of wonky. I think they updated it in this last update. When it. Yeah, they're eating now. That's nice. But, uh. AI in this game is still not perfect, but I mean, it's still an early access game, so you can't expect it to be that perfect. It's definitely, it definitely fits. Um, they eat, they run. Um, I guess the, sometimes the predators kind of single you out. Like I could be standing in the middle of the herd and a Rex will run right by my entire family and come and bite me, but I guess that's part of the game. I don't know what that noise was. Look at these guys. <laughs> Are friends though? And these are very large animals. Those big boys. Um, obviously not compared to this adult Triceratops, but if you went into the encyclopedia on the main menu, which is kind of a neat feature. It shows you, uh, it tells you a little bit about the dinosaurs. It shows you, shows them uh. next to a human. These things are freaking huge, and Hell Creek dinosaurs in general, are quite elite dinosaurs. What is this guy doing? Um, in addition to these, obviously, there's T Rex, and there's a lot of crocodiles. Different types of crocodiles. Surprisingly haven't seen any of those as of right now, but I know they're there and they're definitely around. Um, there's different types of raptors. Obviously Dakota Raptor, which is the... you can also play as that. I want to do, probably will do a video on that at some point, but that's a fun time too. It's a lot of fun to <laughs> just troll around as a Dakota Raptor. 
Um, I, ha I know for a fact I have recorded one time where I did some trolling as Dakota and a herd of trikes they, and a rex put that into, like, I don't know, some a beast of Bermuda video or something. I just know I did that at one point, but I do want to make a video on that. I love Saurian, honestly. It's a good good game. Um, doesn't get as much love as it probably should, but that's because it's a single player game. Not a whole lot to do. I don't remember if in time it's going to be multiplayer, but if it does eventually become multiplayer, it's going to be a fun time. Obviously, on the Walking with Dinosaurs, uh, Realism servers, both Isle, uh, Beast of Mew, Path of Titans, all that kind of things, all those kind of things, this would be a perfect fit for it. Of course, we had Hell Creek on the Isle server, but this would take it to a whole other level, obviously. Look at all these little guys. Let's see what the family tree's looking like. We got one hatchling. Two hatchling, three hatchling. Oh. Wait, sorry. One adult female, two. Okay, three. So this is the entire... That You can see the little tree. What's that out there? Um, right above my frill, there's a herd of something out there. I guess they look like... Trikes? I can't tell. Um, among other herbivores, there are obviously other triceratops herds. Which is neat. Oh, that shading. It's alright. Hoping to see at least some other herbivores apart from the big bird boys. Yeah, those are definitely triceratops. One herbivore I have yet to see in this game is the Ankylosaurus, and I really want to see it. Uh, the model in the encyclopedia is gorgeous. I have come across the Denversaurus, which is a notosaur. A little baby boy and Kylo a few times come across them at least two or three times gorgeous model too but I want to see the full Ankylosaurus model I have yet to see that and I would like to see it next to a Rex as well let's get these guys to come over here what are we doing <coughs> yeah I guess they don't want to and there that's a whole herd of adults too those guys are just trucking so, the patch notes for this update had something called dynamic spawn or something, so I guess that's what keeps happening. The stuff is kind of just spawning anywhere. I honestly don't know the mechanics of this game. I could be very much wrong. Also, here you go. A, an example of the continuous growth. Um, we were much smaller, obviously, when we started as hatchlings we could fit inside the nest, and now we are the same height as the nest. That's the cool thing about Saurian, you just keep growing. I mean, obviously, when you progress, so when this bar up top reaches full, um, it'll prompt you to sleep, and you will progress to the next stage, is the word I was looking for earlier, but yeah, when you go to the next stage, you kind of like transition it go it fades to white and sometimes you lose your herd which is kind of annoying but hopefully that will not be the case this time because that shouldn't that's that can't be too far away now Let's do some eating yeah so this game is actually really fun when you Kind of just want to immerse yourself. There you go. Hide your HUD. You go really into it. I can play like that. Kind of like how I did um, all my aisle videos, any of my documentary type videos. But that really gets you into it. You really gotta remember to eat and drink. Obviously, you just eat until you're full. Then drink until you're full. But oh, look at that! The trike herd is fording the river. I'll follow this guy. Hopefully this man is not coming to fight us. Oh, oh, there's a crocodile guy. 
and it does not look like those are full-grown adults. That is a about the same um. age as us. So he's three calling him, so I'll three calling him. Too. Yeah. Hello. That's neat. Alright, so let's check this in with you. Yeah, so those guys are about just a little bit older than us, than these hatchlings and myself. So that's neat. They're kind of just cruising on through. They left two of their buddies behind, but yeah, there they go. I'm going to go back for the adults and we're going to sleep away this night. Actually, yeah. I'm going to go chill with these guys. Something's probably going to spawn out in the woods. I would not be surprised if we spawn in, if we sleep and then wake up in the morning and there's a Rex. I'm not super excited for that, so that's why I want to be over here with these guys. I don't know how bright this is going to be, or how dark this is going to be. I might have to brighten it in post, I have no idea. Because this monitor I use is slightly brighter than my other monitors and what other people see. And I get a lot of comments in aisle videos or something where I could see perfectly at nighttime and nobody could see a thing. So I will have to look into that in the editing stage. But for right now, I think it's fine. Um, camera's kind of weird. Zooming in and out. Not always super responsive. Pretty close to progressing. Staging up. These dudes are the same age as us. Same litter. <clears throat> so, I think we should follow the adults, fellas. Or you guys will stand there and get picked off by raptors. Godspeed. Yeah, so I really don't know what to talk about in these kind of videos. Because obviously I don't do a ton of these videos. But, something's running over there. I would like to do more of these videos. More of these types of videos. I'd, there's a game that... Uh, me and my, some of my friends have called Pangea Survival. Probably not a game a lot of people have heard of, but it's kind of like the Isle. Um, I don't know. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, basically, every you're living on Pangea, you have a bunch of different. There's something out there. A Pachyon? Pachycephalosaurus, I think. We will find out. I don't really want him to come over here. But anyway, Pangea Survival. Basically, it's just one big map, Pangea, naturally. And there are different, uh, I guess, time periods. There's all the different formations. Also, okay, here we go. We're going to try to get over here. So when we advance to the next growth stage, hopefully we'll be near, near these guys. Run over to these guys. The fellas. And here. Oh. One of the moments. Please don't run over me. Oh god. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> it did not die. Yeah, so here we go. We are now staged up. A little bit bigger. And the parents are leaving us, so does that? Yeah, see, when you get to juvenile now, the parents decide we're gonna dip. So now we gotta hang out with these guys. With the our siblings. Always neat. Kinda hard to do they kill something? What happened here? <laughs> One of them killed a Dakota Raptor. That's neat. That's also disrespectful. Got a lot of three call. But uh, anyway, back to Pangea. It's a cool, I mean, it's a cool game. You're on the Pangea map. You're on a big map. Has all different formations of dinosaurs. Um, different 
fossil areas. There's a raptor out there. That's not great. So I guess you can have Allosaurus, Rex, uh, Giganotosaurus. You can have everything on the same map. The models are really good. Um, AI needs work. Obviously, I mean it's an early access game, just like all these dinosaur games seem to be. But if they can get the AI to be uh, more refined and just general quality of life a little better, the game personally I would play it every day. It's I'm not exaggerating. It's a fun game. Me and my friends like to play it a little bit. Uh, the I, I cannot understand how good the models are because. I don't know, the developers, modelers, really good. But I'm probably going to do a video on that. I actually have a video of that recorded. Uh, it's just that... I don't know, it's a weird It's a weird game. It's kind of nuanced. It has... It's, it's quirky. But if I do make a video on it, I will obviously preface that before. Or at least put it in the description or something. That it's early access and all that. But is it a, it is a very good game. Is there a Rex out there? What is that? That's an overwrap? I don't know. Not overwrapped or the mind way out there. But yeah. And if you have if you guys have any suggestions for a game, I would certainly be up to play it. I don't know about I don't know dinosaur games. I kinda there's not a whole lot of dinosaur games left to play. Um, I've been playing a bunch of Splitgate recently. First person shooter, which is completely irrelevant to dinosaurs. Come on, buddy, you're leaving. But I've been playing that a lot recently. And I do want to record that. I'm not for, obviously, it's not going to be super big. But I can make it a thing that I want. It wouldn't be super big on the channel, obviously, because it's a dinosaur type channel. But. I'm pretty big on FPS's, pretty good at, I mean I wouldn't say I'm pretty good, but I'm decent at FPS's. So I do want to play some Splitgate, I play with a few people from Walking with Dinosaurs. Hey, you are getting pieced up brother. You gotta attack me, get out of here. Let's see if we can hit him. Oh, they don't even care. <laughs> I don't really know what's going on here. Alright, I guess the fellows are trying to kick this shit out of me. Alright, now I really can't make this a child friendly video because I swore once. Brother, you gotta move. Oh, I think they got him. Oh, they're bugging right now. This buddy is getting pieced up. This dude's not happy. I don't know. It was me. Is he chasing me? I wouldn't, brother. That would not be one of your finest moments. Especially if these adults come over here, you're not gonna like that. Is this man injured? What? <laughs> Why is he walking like that? What are you doing? Uh. Yeah, don't know what this man's doing. Couldn't tell you actually. Don't know what that guy's over there doing. But I think we should follow the herd. Follow the adults. Because they're gonna give us quite a bunch of protection in the event that a super rex comes and shows up not sure where the they're gonna get pieced up he's gonna chase him again hey okay. I'm gonna hit him with a warning those ornithomimans over there fighting each other it looks like Oh, please do not run over me. Oh, 
We don't have a threaten. No, we do have a threaten. There we go. Alright, it looks like we're pairing up with these fellows again. I don't mind that at all. Also, I don't know if this game would be better streamed or just recorded, because I get I think uh, recording this could get a little boring because there's not a whole lot that goes on. He is getting pounded. Oh jeez. <laughs> this man's about to catch a pace. What's happening here? Interesting. Yeah, this guy's out for blood. What are we doing here? Oh my god, he killed him. That's a female. She killed him. Please do not kill me. Oh my god. Alright, well. Yeah, we just lost one in the herd. It's not cool. Pour one out for the fallen homie. GG's, brother. Yeah, I'm gonna... Where's the rest of my herd? There's one. I'm gonna sleep right here. Might not be a good move. Let's see how it pans out. So far, so good. Okay. Check the health. We're good here. I'm gonna try to get over towards the remaining members of the squad. This is actually a horrible place to be. I don't know if Rex's spawn around here. I mean, I guess dynamic spawn is on, so I don't really have a choice. They'll spawn wherever they want to spawn. But I've only ever seen Rex's out on the plains. Or fern prairies. Ooh, is that a herd? And there's more under the mimids. Let's keep eating this. Good, good plants. Yeah, those are definitely Triceratops. So there's the fellas. Three piece. Let's see how much we're full on. Yeah, so we're full on food. Let's get some water. Let's go head over to these guys. You know what they say, safety in numbers. I would not mind being in a herd of 25. Especially at this age. Okay. Let me get some water. Probably three drinks, three or four will do it. Let's go friendly call them. Yeah, we're fine. So I don't yet understand how the whole the voice wheel works. I don't know how the threaten or the friendly call, the social display. Not sure how all that works. So I don't know if if I friendly call them. If I will get inducted into their herd. Let's get him with a social display. Yep, so I have no idea what's happening. If that worked or did anything. Let's see. No, that man's just eating. These guys do not care about our presence. That's awesome. But we will tag along anyway. They really don't care. Okay. They got a whole herd. They got a whole squadron going on here. I would kill to be in this little menagerie. Can we leave this group? I don't know how this works. Reputation trusted? See, I don't know what any of this means. But if I can guide my little my little squad along with them, there's a Dakota Raptor right there. An adult. Not a fan. So we're gonna we're gonna walk with, walk this way with these guys. Not even our herd, but I don't really care at this point. It's survival. Let's check our age. We're halfway through age one. 
Um, as you can see, this game does take quite a while to progress. So, I don't know how much how I can be keeping in the video because this video is going to be... It's already 35 minutes long and we haven't done anything. But, yeah, I'll probably keep at least some of it in. A lot of it will probably be cut out. That's why I think uh, doing a stream or something like that would be a little more productive in a game like this, where you're kind of just living. But, we'll see. That's all up in the air. Because I do want, I have this nice ass mic. Tap, tap. And I never use it because I don't have much reason to. But I'd like to. Anyone wants to be a friend? Nope. Okay. So, I would not mind, I mean, doing more videos like this. Um, literally, I at this point, I kind of just want to upload stuff to my channel that I kind of enjoy playing. Um, I like this kind of stuff. I like Splitgate, FPS in general. That sounds very unhappy. I'm sorry, brother. I don't think they like me. Okay, well, that's not very nice. We're gonna have to stick with our family. There they go. Uh, anyway, yes. Um, I kind of just want to start uploading stuff that I have fun playing. Not necessarily... What are we doing here? Pick any more members up? Yeah, not necessarily just like things that garner views. I kind of just want to play stuff and record it and put it on the channel. Have some fun. Would not mind doing stuff like that. Um, I like flight simulator stuff. I like the FPSs. Kind of just like, I have a bunch of different games that I like to play. And have a fun time playing. I just never do anything with it. But... Once again, in time, we'll see. I can't imagine this video is going to do super well because it's not the meta and it's not whatever I've done in the past. Obviously, I haven't played a ton of Sorian in my YouTube career. But I like dinosaurs, I like Triceratops, and I like Sorian, so I'd upload this, I'd play it. Can we eat this, please? Yeah? Yeah? No? Is it in the tree? I guess not. Okay. Eat this. Are we eating? I can't tell. This man is not eating anything. Are those... Are the trikes coming back? I don't know what's happening out there. I don't know if I want them to come back if they're kind of hostile towards me. Not friendly. But I also don't want that Dakota Raptor coming over here. And we're still 75% of the way through. Where's my herd? Yeah, that guy's way over there. Um, half this video is probably going to just be me clicking my WASD keys. And Mike's gonna pick up all of it, and I'm gonna be mad about that because I didn't do any quality control. But such is life. Yeah, I'm still trying to perfect the whole using a mic thing. Obviously, not something I do too often. What do you mean, brother? Friendly, friendly. No one's joining our herd. Not very happy. This guy's pushing me. I think the move, even if they don't like us, we're gonna stick with them. This guy just hit me. What are we doing? What are you doing? <laughs> they better have a turf war? What's going on here? I see a lot of threatening. Like the trike baby wars? What are we doing? Here, I'm gonna hit everyone. 
the social display again. I don't know why that's a social display. It really seems like a threatening display. No, 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 please do not hit me. Oh my god. He's not a friend. That man does not like me. You. Traitor. To the Republic. Not a fan. I'm not a fan of being out here in the dark either. Can't see anything. Um, eventually, when this game comes out with Ankylosaurus, I do want to play as him. I don't know if uh, NVIDIA filters work on this, but basically I would just blur my entire screen out and walk around, not see anything, and try not to die. Is it nighttime? I can't tell. These dudes are pissed. We're just trying to grow the herd, guy. Thank god there has not been too much predatory action. Because these guys are not prepared for that. And I am definitely not prepared for that. I think I'm going to sleep right here. Some fighting me? Hey. What are you doing? Oh, they're gone. Okay, well. Okay. Neat. So now we don't have a herd. We only have our little three. I don't know which one's me. I mean, I guess I could be this guy, but I have no idea. And I only see one, so... Not too sure where the remaining two members of the herd are. Um, oh, Jesus Christ! Good Lord! Yeah, no, we run. No, I'm stuck. No, 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 no. Yeah, we run. We don't stay around to find out what he's looking for. Oh, my God. Oh, wow! The tide rose. This is not ideal. We are pinned. I'm gonna drink. And I don't see him. This is the most inopportune time to drink. Brother, take one more sip. Sip. Thank you. Oh, you're eating. No. I need to drink. Yeah, no. We're, we're running. We're going this way. No shot, we're hanging around a T Rex. Yep, there he is. That guy's cruising. See, that's what I talk about when I say that when you sleep, you happen to spawn in these big boys. I cannot tell you how many times I have come out of a slumber and these there are about to get pieced up. Stop walking that way. Come over here. Come on. We gotta run. No, you're running the wrong way. I mean, I guess we could run towards the uh, Ornithobimids. See if we could get that guy to... Yeah, they're running. They're smart. Please, please don't see us. How close are we? Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta move. Not a fan. Not a fan. Keep it coming, fellas. Uh, with our luck, I'm gonna turn around and there's gonna be another Rex. Oh, an Atasaurus! Alright, neat. So, if we can get the squad to come over here, we're gonna go hang- Hey, eh, what are the odds? There's another one. We are gonna go hang out with those guys. But I really wanna- oh, we're level 2, okay, er, H2. Check this for a second, gameplay. Camera sense. There. Yeah, no, we are gonna go. Oh, brother, no. I think he's about to meet his maker. Alright, this guy's 
hanging with us. I don't know. He's right there. Holy Jesus. Yeah, we gotta go hang out with this Edmontos. Or Anatos, I guess. I don't know how... I mean, I actually do very much know how bloodthirsty Rexes are in this game. But I don't know if they eat something, if they will... Jesus, this man's chasing us. Yeah, no, we're going over here. Oh, he's fighting. He's in the... He's getting pieced up. Um, Anatos, or Edmontos, however you want to call them. They slap with their tails, and those things do a ton of damage. We gotta bring our herd over towards them, but we gotta wait until these guys get done slapping the Rex around. That Rex is gonna die. If he stays inside of there, he's gonna die. Make sure we're not getting chased by that Rex. Oh, they don't care. They're not gonna beat him. They're not kicking his ass. What are we doing? Oh, they're chasing. <laughs> that guy's chasing him. Um, clearly the AI is still kind of wonky in this game, but once again, it's still early access. So I mean, you can't expect a whole lot. Even though this game's been in production since like 2017 or something, I remember when it first came out and I like backed it or whatever on Kickstarter. Yeah, that Rex is getting pieced. Um. I don't know if you could see from here, but they in the update they did. I don't know if it was this update, but at least from my point of view, uh, the damage indicators now. Oh, he's dead! All right, we can bring these guys over. Come on! Oh, they're gonna harass his body now. Hello, friends. We're friends. Friendly guys. Please do not bite me. Oh my god, they're eating. Also, did that grass just disappear when he bit it? That's kind of neat. I didn't know that was a thing. But, if you look closely, you don't have to look very close. A lot of blood splatter on this poor Rex dude after he got pounded. I don't know if that's new. I think it's new. It kind of feels like it's new to this update because previous updates, maybe I just didn't beat enough Rexes, but I don't remember seeing this kind of uh, damage on the model. But, right. yeah. Disrespect him a little bit. Not very realistic of me, but felt necessary. And once again, it proves when you're hanging out with these big dudes, it's a lot safer than being a squadron of four juvenile triceratops. The social squad. I don't know if they're scared of the Adnatosaurus, Adnatosaurus. Uh, if you were paying attention, I mean, I already said it, but the tide has significantly risen. If you remember there were islands out there in the middle of the river, and now the water is all the way up here. There's an Ornithomimus swimming around. So, I actually didn't know this was part of the game, and I don't know how rapid the onset is. Because I don't remember if this was after we we drink, brother. There we go. I don't know if this was after we uh, slept. Or if this was happening as we walked around. But I guess the water does rise. can't tell if it's rising right now. Oh, well. And I don't really want to find out. I'm going to back up. It looks like that other Rex has peeled off, or just gave up altogether, which quite appreciate. Oh my god! 
This dude's not happy either. Hey, chill. Yeah, you, brother. Is he all wet? Or is that just the lighting? Does it show he's wet? I can't tell. He's shiny. Oh, something's running out there. Might be an Arcara Raptor. A small Raptor. Gets beat up by... Is that water right there? What's happening? Is help get flooding? Where are you going? Yeah! Water's definitely rising. And this is definitely water right there. Does this... Does this flood? I've never played long enough to experience this kind of flooding. So, I actually don't know if it floods. You need to come back here, guy. This is neat. I didn't know it did this. It's definitely rising. Because... I don't remember those trees being that submerged. And now there's water up here? Right? Is this water right here? Oh, brother, we need to, like, find high ground. This is definitely water. Yeah, we need to get out of here. Like, now. We can't be sleeping here, because we're gonna drown. I don't know where my team is. The Rex carcass is gonna be underwater soon. But... Oh boy. I'm gonna go up this... Where'd the Anatas go? They just keep going. That water is climbing high. Okay, well... Looks like my homies decide they're gonna drown. So if I go and sleep over here, this could be the last time I see the homies. Wow, this water keeps getting high. It's definitely flooding. And we have now turned this place into a whole swamp. Oh, another herd of anatos over there. And you. We're gonna sleep here. So that should save. Oh my god. Um, I don't have a team anymore. They're gone. Uh, there's a Rex right above me, clearly. Not a huge fan of that. Can't, if I'm being frank. I don't see anything else. And that also has me a little worried. God, go away, please. He's gonna find me, and I'm gonna be not happy. This flooding is really kind of messed with where I wanted to go. Is that flooding over there going down? Receding coastline? Yeah, it's definitely... Right? Yeah, water's... It's true... I don't know, I can't tell. What are you? Oh, nice, Sonatas. We're gonna go hang out with you guys. It does look like the water's receding. Oh, it's definitely receding. That Rex used to be covered in it. No, not so much. It would be cool to have the mechanic where that happens only after rain. Instead of just, Jesus brother, you're getting too close. It is receding in front of our eyes. He is just standing there, menacingly. You think he's gonna eat from that corpse? I don't know. He kinda need if he did. Let's see. Nope. We're gonna go on the other side of these guys. I really don't want to lose all this progress. 
Hello, friends. Uh, the red eyes are kind of scary. Her large herbivores. Uh, red eyes are quite intimidating. Won't lie. It'd be neat if that Rex started eating from that corpse. But I don't think he will. Because these AI are pretty bloodthirsty. Either that or they just walk around and do absolutely nothing. And for the latter, I wouldn't be too opposed to that right now. As long as they don't come after me. But for now, we're just going to chill with these guys. I think to see an Ankylosaurus, or even a Denverosaurus, we are going to have to move to a different part of... I'm in a different biome. I don't think they spend a ton of time in the forest. Um, I'm pretty sure they're big on the flood or uh, the fern prairies. He's getting closer. Yeah, I'm sticking with these dudes. I'm not walking anywhere. I'm not walking away. And if you couldn't tell, or if you couldn't infer, the ones with colorful heads are the males, and ones with regular green heads are the females. Uh-oh. Here he comes. Oh, that one's getting pieced up! Jeez! Okay, yeah, good thing we're not over there, right? But he's about to get stomped by the herd, right? Right. There's no way this Rex comes out alive. But I don't know if that... He's dead. There's no shot. And they're going to pursue him. I didn't... I mean, at some point I would expect them to make these big hadrosaurs run on two legs. Because it looks kind of janky having them run on four. Yeah, see, that's a little wonky. But we're going to run with them. This guy is battered. Honestly, did not think he was going to make it out of this fight alive. Brother, if there was a bleeding mechanic, you'd be dead. Oh, he's scared that I'm chasing him. Yeah, no, there's no shot. He would survive. These dudes are... I don't know if that's just their faces, or... Oh god, that guy's out for... He's going out for blood. I guess that is just their faces. Oh, there's another Rex! Oh boy, oh boy. That's less than ideal for you guys. The Rexes don't seem to fight each other, which is quite unfortunate. I would like to see a good one-on-one -on -one between the kings. But I also do not pass up a solid hunt from these boys. But they don't, they're kind of scared of them, which is kind of neat. Um, I wish there was a spectator cam. Could fly around the map and watch this happen in real time. That would be cool. It's not as cool as, I guess, watching on the aisle when people do that kind of thing. Because that's like actual human interaction, but seeing AI do it is still pretty cool too. I'm trying to see that Rex. Yeah, it does not seem like these dudes care that there's another Rex here. I know the Rex that was injured completely pieced out. He's not even on the scene anymore. This dude's running. He's the injured one. Yeah. Hopefully we're not walking right into another Rex. That'd be quite a shame. Um, here's a little little rant on Triceratops in general. I thoroughly hate the downward curving horns of the adult model of this Parsis, and I really like, this dude's about to get pieced up, really like the um, upward curving horns of this model, like the uh, Triceratops hortus species, where I guess it's always depicted as the horns facing up, 
And of course, this has the horns facing down. I'm not sure if that's just because of they didn't the fragmentary remains of the horns, or if that's because of actually how they were. But it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to have horns that face down when you are attacking something that has a head that's higher than yours. Either way, I don't much like. Tri oh, he's dead too. <laughs> I don't much like Triceratops horses horns in general. I much prefer this dude with his cool chad upward facing horns and curvy boys. And rant is over. They are now absolutely brutalizing this Rex's poor dead body. So disrespectful to teabag him, but you know, it's part of the game, I guess. Oh god. This has now been a one hour recording, and I know for a fact this is not going to be entirely one video, or if it is, I'm going to cut so much out of it, it's not even close to being one hour, but um, I think when I hit the age three, and when I progress, I'm going to call it, so that's that. This dude is stuck on this Rex's body. Oh, it's an auto die too. That's unfortunate. Hello, brother. Is there a collision with this guy's head? Bonk. I guess there is. What was that noise? You know what would be neat in this too? Like forest fires or uh, lightning and stuff where there's actually the event or the environment's dynamic. Obviously we have the flooding, but forest fires and stuff like that would be really neat where you have to, there's more than just dinosaurs to survive. And, I mean, it's probably extremely hard to code and to have it actually work in practice, but nonetheless, it would be pretty dope. Even so, this game is still pretty good on its own, as it is. And we're doing pretty well. Almost at that three. And I'm going to sleep, and these guys are going to disappear. Watch. Yeah, okay. Where are we? Do some eating. Okay, so as of now. Oh, that's neat. I didn't know they disappeared. Where's the. Where'd the bodies go? Oh, they just disappeared. That's not cool either. Okay. not how I want to... Oh, they're right there. I'm actually blind. So I don't see anything. And that usually means there's probably a Rex somewhere. I don't really like that either. But if there's any luck on my side, maybe I'll find a herd of bigger boys bigger trikes, or even another herd of anatosaurs. Definitely not this guy, though. Oh, that's dope. There is collision. I hope I'm not stuck. Okay. So close to H3. So I want to go get water. I need to get water. But I don't really want to go towards the water's edge. Because I guarantee as soon as I get over there, there's going to be a Rex. So, I want to see if we get to level, or H3. See what happens when I respawn, or stage up. And then I will risk it, because I want that save. And I actually don't even know if I'm right that he stages up at H3, so this is all kind of a hunch. Yes, okay, awesome. We're, grow we're growing. White screen? White screen? Okay. Also, no, male sub adult. So, I'm pretty sure we saved then. So, I think the move is I'm gonna go get water there. 
But even if we didn't save then, we saved when we slept. So, that should be good. I actually cannot remember if we save when we level up, so I could be completely BSing that, but we do save nonetheless when we close the game, so that's honestly a blessing. Assuming we make it to the water. Yeah, but this is the subadult model. It is what, I mean, if you scaled it up to a normal size Triceratops, it's literally what a Triceratops horridus looks like. And that's the species I prefer, because it looks cool with those upward facing horns. But it's not the species we have in this game, so I cannot complain. Yes, I'm fully aware dinosaurs could, did not have 360 degree view like this, but I really don't want to die at this point. And I also would really like to find a herd. Wow, it has been flooded for quite some time. And that water is not quite receding yet. So it's only the water in here that kind of disappeared. It's still quite high out there. But I am seeing some islands start to return. That's pretty good. A little rat right there. Possibly a Didelphodon. Um, if you ever watch the Walking with Dinosaurs, the BBC series, Didelphodon was the little blue boy who stole the Rex's eggs and then proceeded to get eaten at least three times. Uh, good days, good show. Awesome, we made it to the water. That's a solid. But make sure we don't get pulled up on what we're drinking. Oh. Getting the drink. <laughs> there we go. Getting the drink is a little hard. But sometimes it works. What else would be cool is if... Like if you... Oh, please. If the river got high enough, you'd have, like... I don't know how realistic this would be. But have Mosasaurus or big crocodiles swimming around in there. And if you swim in there, you get snatched up. But add another level of something to think about while you're trying not to get eaten by our Rex. Clearly the water is receding. And I think it is time to call it here. So I'm gonna find a nice little place to lay down, save and quit. But uh Yeah a long video. I don't really know how, how much is going to be actually in it. I'm going to have to watch all of this and edit it all down. But either way, I think it was fun. We're still not done yet, obviously. There's going to be at least two parts of this video. But here, we'll sit here. Um, if you like the video, if you made it this far, even, uh, hit, the like video, hit the like button. Um, drop a comment. Let me know if you liked it what else you might want to see, what you didn't like, if you didn't like anything about it, um, or any, really just anything, I know people leave a bunch of weird comments in my comments anyway, so it's not like I can change that, but, oh my god, oh it's an add okay, yeah, so, thanks for watching, uh, this has been the first part, at least the first part, of surviving as a triceratops, see ya.